My name is James, I'm a knee, foot and ankle specialist and today I'm going to talk you through the best exercises for accessory navicular syndrome. All information in this video is for educational purposes only and shouldn't be used as medical advice. Please listen carefully to the audio during the videos as I describe when to move on to the next exercise. The first exercise is an isometric strengthening of the posterior tibial tendon that attaches onto your navicular. Lift your foot up against the resistance of the band until it's in a neutral position. Hold that position while you move your foot back and forth for roughly 45 seconds. This should be pain free to do. The second exercise is a heel raise using a ball. So place the ball between your heels and try and pinch your heels together as you lift the ball up to isolate your posterior tibial tendon. Then a further progression of this exercise is in standing with resistance pulling outward against your ankle. This stimulates the posterior tibial tendon to work harder as it has to resist the band. Try and move slowly up and down, two seconds up and then two seconds back down again in a controlled manner. The next exercise stimulates your foot intrinsic muscles. So standing on one foot using books or a step, try and lift your arch up and down like you see in the video. You can then progress this exercise onto maintaining your arch height while you do skater squats, reaching back, keeping your center of gravity over your foot. Then it's important to practice your balance. So practice standing on one leg for up to 45 seconds. You can hold on something with tip finger support initially and then wean off that support. To progress this, then you can practice standing on a balance mat, which we'll link in the description below, or you can double over to use a pillow. Practice trying to keep your ankle in neutral. Then you can do a star exertion. So bring your leg in front, behind, to one side and then the other while maintaining your balance. Again, you can wean off support if it's required initially. Often we see in patients with this condition that they alter their gait and their calf gets tight. So practice stretching your calf muscle with your back leg straight initially. And then you can progress onto a stretch of your soleus muscle, which requires you adopt in the same position but bending your back leg and you should feel the stretch lower down in your lower calf and towards your Achilles tendon. I hope you find the exercises helpful. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you found the video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel.